I do have something that is not. Speculation that may give you some insight into how certain people think. There's a book that's been out for, God, 20 years, I bet now. It's by Gary Michael Capetta. Gary Michael Capetta was the ring announcer, you may remember, from uh, WCW in the early 90s. And he got his start with Capital Sports, with Vincent James McMahon, not Kennedy McMahon, who we uh, have today, the son, the father. Some people call him Senior, and some people call Vince Jr., and he hates that. And they have different middle names, so it's not accurate, but it's one of the reasons we don't have Rey Mysterio Jr., because Vince hates the Jr. Anyway, Gary Michael Capetta started out, and they kayfabed him on everything in the beginning. Um, he was the announcer. They wouldn't let him into the dressing room. They wouldn't let him in on anything for years. And it's a, you know, the book is called Body Slams. You can check it out. It's been around for a long time. It's an, it's an okay book. It's got some interesting stories. But here's the key part of the book that I think how it relates to where we are today and a lot of history of WWE. And maybe this will give you a perspective on how management looks at talent and all talent. So, Gary Michael Capetta, I was working ringside, and there was a young kid who was there. And it came to his mind that that young kid who was working ringside was a young Shane McMahon. So Gary Capetta goes up and was talking to young Shane McMahon and asks him, from everything that your dad has told you about the business, what's the most important thing that you have learned? And a young Shane McMahon, in the book Body Slams, told Gary Michael Capetta, without batting an eye, he says, his dad taught him, Vince Kennedy McMahon, the head of WWE, here's the quote, an exact quote from the book, don't let your workers know how important they are so you can get the most out of them for the least amount of money. And that's it. People can say, oh, Vince is this, Vince is that, and maybe he is, maybe he's not. But there it is in black and white, and it's been out there for quite a long time, and I think it really kind of reaffirms and encapsulates so much of what we've seen for decades in WWE. Don't let your workers know how important they are so you can get the most out of them for the least amount of money. And I think that explains why we've only seen temperature checks, why we have not seen a lot of social distancing happening on social media backstage at the Performance Center, and why we've seen what we've seen. Record profits this year. Record profits even if WWE sells no more tickets at all this entire year. WWE will still have its best year ever. And besides, it's in its best interest. It wouldn't spend money on testing. It wouldn't do all the things necessary to avoid where we are today. With people sick, with a PR nightmare on its hands, and also a talent nightmare on its hands that it didn't have, quite simply,